This is a PS3 controller and in this video I'll show you how to connect a PS3 controller to your PC wireless and wirelessly in 2022 running the brand new Windows 11. So now let's jump into the video. So for this tutorial there is a three things you need. So first your PC, then the controller and then the cable that came with the controller. So after you have this, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your controller, then you're gonna uh, plug it into your PC. So after you connect your controller to your PC, you're gonna see it's gonna light up. But things to make sure the controller is actually connected, you're gonna open up, go to the menu, and then you're just gonna type in control panel, and you're gonna click on enter, and then you're gonna click on the devices. So you're gonna click on view all the devices, and then you should see a PS3 controller right here. So if you see a PS3 controller, that means it's connected. So after you check that your controller is actually connected, then you can open up the Chrome or any browser you want, and then you're gonna come to the this option link. If you get this link, it's, a, it's on my Discord server. So if you get this link, it's in my Discord server, make sure you join, so it's under links and it's right here. And also we're so close to a, a 1000 members. So thank you for that. So now you're gonna come here and click on download. And then you're gonna see it's gonna start downloading. Just know it's a, a really small file, so it's not gonna uh, take any long, it's just gonna take a few seconds. You're gonna see it's gonna start downloading just like this and now you're gonna open it up. So after you open up the zip, it's gonna see something like this. You're gonna tap on the SPC driver, you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna click on Ben. And then you're gonna click on SPC driver.exe. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna see something like this. Click on yes. And now you're gonna see something like this. Now also you can just close that. So now this is the uh, most important part. So I'll just zoom in for you guys so you guys can see it better. You're gonna see it's gonna look something like this. And also one more thing, I'm running the Windows 11. So if you're running Windows 11, 10 or below, it's fine. And then right here, you're gonna see there's a three option. A Bluetooth driver is only for the people there who are actually gonna connect it using the uh, Bluetooth. But, uh, but, if you're not collect but if you're not connecting to a uh, Bluetooth, you can uncheck that. And then for this force install, make sure that is uh, on. And then make sure this is, this is a really important. So make sure that is also on. And then after that, you're gonna click on install. So make sure once again that two of them is on. And then for this, just click on allow uh, or click on install. And now you're gonna see it's gonna go through all of this process. Just give it a few seconds. And now your controller should be in the pair mode right here. As you can see, there will be only one light. So now if you just go to your controller, you're gonna see it's gonna be on player one. So if it's on player one, that means it's all connected. And if you just hold on the PlayStation button, you're gonna see that it is actually working. So on the Discord, a, a wanna be asking me that how you can uninstall this. So if you uninstall it, you're gonna do the same thing that uh, you install. So you're just gonna open up the download. So we're just gonna open up, open up this. We're gonna go to SPC driver, bin, and then this, and, and then you're gonna click on yes. And now right here, we're gonna check all of this. So we're gonna check except for the Bluetooth driver, and then you're gonna click on uninstall. So as you said, this uninstall. Make sure you're gonna click on uninstall. Then you're gonna see it's gonna start uh, removing all the files that are download. So now you're gonna see it's gonna be successful. So now if you see your controller, you're gonna see that it's actually not connected. You're gonna see it's gonna start a blinking light. So if you do that, that means all the uh, driver install is uh, uh, uninstalled. And so now it's removed from your computer just like that. So now I'll just quickly open up the Steam to show you guys the example. Just now, as you said, it's gonna work very smooth. So if you just show you guys the controller is actually working, look at that. Controller is actually working. As you said, for some reason the controller is moving by itself because uh, this have the same problem as the Nintendo Switch is a Joy-Con drift. So that's why, as you said, it's pretty bad. But things uh, just know this is a really old controller. It's like a three or four years old controller I had. But other than that, if, if you're using a new controller, you're fine because the controller works absolutely fine. As you said, there's no lag or anything. It just it works right here. So once again, the only problem that I have that I have the Joy-Con drift. As you can see, it's, it's pretty annoying, but if you're using it, just know it's gonna work absolutely fine. Okay, so that is it for this quick video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Just know you can always unsubscribe later, and see you guys next time. Then, peace out.